Hey, Brian from Workspace Admins here. Today we'll show you how to upgrade from standard version of GAM to advanced. So using advanced version has many benefits. So they are listed on the wiki here. And some of them include uh, CSV processing, redirection, batching to speed up the process, interacting with calendar events, users' contacts, dealing with orphan files, so on and so forth. So if you are active in Mac admins uh, GAM channel, you may have seen some commands that start with GAM config. So that allows us to either use multiple processes, multiple threads, uh, or even limit the output when uh, doing GAM print, uh, printing to a CSV file, for example. So if you have come across any limitations while you are using standard version, we definitely recommend that you check out advanced version. So we'll show you how to do that. So if I go to the downloads page here, I'm going to copy that command and paste that in. So this is doing the installation without any project creation or it's or authorization processes. So you see a few warnings here. So it's not able to find the three files that it needs. So we are going to go ahead and find them today. So I'll just move to my bin folder. And as you can see, I have both the standard and advanced versions of GAM installed. So when advanced ver version of GAM is installed, it also does another thing. So if I move back over to home and it's now created a directory called .gam. And inside you will see a few, a folder in, uh, in a file called the gam.csg. So this is the gam configuration file that we can use with advanced gam. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it and show you what's inside. So it starts with a square bracket default. So that means it's a default section, but you can also have other sections as well. So that allows you to either use uh, different uh, variables with your gam commit, or it also allows you to interact with different domains. So I'm just going to sh scroll down here and we won't make any changes here, uh, but we'll just show you what they are. So that's something that you can take a look. So Ross, who is the developer GAM, which we, or whom we had on uh, one of our videos earlier. So that's a video that we recommend that you check out as he explains the, some of the history behind uh, how he got involved with uh, developing uh, advanced version of GAM. So if you don't know what XTD3 stands for, so X is extended, TD is team drive, and three means Python three. So there are a few recommendations here. So time zone by default is UTC. So Ross recommends changing that as well. No underscore browser uh, is, so if you are using a headless machine, you will need to set it to true. But since we are in WSL, I'll just leave it to uh, false for now. And the other one is the domain. So by default, it's blank, but you can specify your domain. So rather than doing a GAM user full address, you can just do GAM user username and that will uh, save some uh, keystrokes. And the final, uh, one here is the customer underscore ID. So by default, it uses my underscore customer, uh, but if you specify it to your unique customer ID, that can uh, also save some API calls. So I'm just not going to make any changes today, but that's something to be aware of. So now I'm going to go ahead and move back to my home directory and I'll show you something else here. Oops. Since I'm using Z shell, I'll need to edit ZRC file, but if you are using bash, then you will need to edit your other bash RC or bash aliases. So here I have a function and alias that, that are both called gam. So the first one is obviously the standard version and uh, advanced version uses the alias. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this line, but if you like, you can uh, keep them separate. So maybe you call gam B for uh, or gam s for stand version or gam uh, 3 for advanced so it's really up to you but it's uh if you just want to use the default gam uh, rather than having to remember to type gam 3 for example um, i'm just going to go ahead and delete this line and save i'm just going to restart my shell 
I'm going to just clear everything. Now, if I do jam version, and it's still giving me errors because it still cannot find these files. But as you can see, now I'm referencing the advanced version. So I'm going to copy some files over. So I'll go ahead and move into my bin slash jam folder or directory. So these are the files that standard version of GAM uses, but the files that I really need are the three files that um, advanced GAM version needs, which are the three uh, client underscore secrets, auth to text, and auth to service. So because of the formatting in auth to the txt, so that's it, that is your auth to authorization token. So we will create this separately, but we will copy the JSON files into our .cam folder. So I'll do copy that start at JSON, and I'll copy that just into my home .cam, and I'm going to now move back into .cam folder, and as you can see, the files were copied. Now I'm going to create an go ahead and create OS to that TXT. Need to authorization. So now that's created. And I should be able to uh, do uh, GAM info domain, for example, and get some information. But since I am, or that may show some sensitive information, I won't do that today. But this is how you can do um, your uh, GAM command. So I'll, I can show you one command here. So I'll do GAM print users. This won't show any sensitive information. So these are the users that I have, GAM print groups. So auth to that txt, uh, you can use that to run some admin commands, but you will also want to uh, update project here, gam update project. So because advanced gam uses a few more APIs than standard version, so you will need to update your project. Because I've already uh, done this process before, uh, all the APIs are enabled, but if you are doing this for the first time, uh, this will enable a few additional APIs that advanced version needs. So the final step that we need to do is check the service account. So here, uh, service account. So, the command is gam user username check service account because uh, it uses domain wide delegation. So I'll do now just because I, I want to save some keystrokes, I'll do something here. So I'll become config domain workspace admins.org save verify. So as you can see, if I move over to domain, uh, it was blank before, but now it says workspace admins.org. So I can just simply do gam user Brian check service account. And I can't spell today for some reason. Check service account. There you go. So if this is your first time running this, uh, it will show you some failed scopes, but because I have authorized advanced game already, uh, this is passing everything. But uh, if it fails, it will give you a link to click and you will need to go and go to your uh, domain wide delegation page and authorize the updated scopes. So this is how you use or how you upgrade from standard version GAM to advanced. So if you found this video useful, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, please leave comments below and uh, we'll get back to you. Thanks and have a great day.